That is a hit. That was not... Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a heck of a black deck. Now I'm really excited. Okay, hold on a second here. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG. And for the first time in a long time, I'm back on eBay buying a collection of Magic the Gathering. This one has seven playable decks and some extra cards and sleeves. So let's take a look and get into it. Let's see what the seller says about it. They used to be an old time player long ago, but then he sold all his stuff and then these were purchased six to seven years ago. Doesn't know exactly what I have. So that's where you start being, you know, do I trust this guy or is he legit? So um, could go either way. I'm willing to take the gamble. Um, he said he'd just like to play at that time and it seems plausible. He then had an update that there is a Mana Vault, and he said that he couldn't get a picture of it, but he actually did have a picture of it in here. So uh, let's take a look at what's going on in here. So there are a bunch of deck boxes and then some sleeve boxes, I guess. And these are I think these are empty sleeves, and you got extra cards. So let's see what's going on here. Um, there they are. You do have a red mana battery from Legends. Um, can't imagine that there's a ton of other Legends stuff in there, but um, that's kind of promising. Uh, in here, we got uh, some bulk mythics um, stuff from guild, going back to guild pack. So, incendiary command is not the command that you want, but I mean, it's there. So, there's rares and things like that. So, um, the guy was making decks with rares um, and having some fun at that time. So, it kind of just it seems legit. These are uh, dark steel plates, which are pretty decent. There's a uh, staff of domination, very good card, right? So, definitely interested in that. Um, you know, maybe some kind of mishmash random stuff from older collections. Uh, Stromgall Crusaders are rare, and their Death Barons are, they were worth quite a bit at one time. They've been reprinted down quite a bit, um, so that they could be a legitimate deck. There's a Hollow Fountain, uh, that's nice. A Retribution of the Meek, a great reserve list card, so I'll definitely be wanting to get that and potentially more. Celestial Colonnade would have been worth a lot um, prior to last year or two years ago when they got reprinted a bunch, so... Um, and then uh, in here somewhere was that Mana Vault. There's a Basalt Monolith. There's the Mana Vault. Okay. I knew I saw it somewhere. So here's a bunch of artifacts. And uh, that definitely looks like a big standout. So I mean that card alone is about 60 bucks. So um, having paid 270 plus some shipping, about 282 I um, feel fairly confident I'll be able to break even here. So uh, with uh, all that out of the way, let's get into the box. All right. Here's the box. It says it has magic cards in it. I'm going to pull out this packing list real quick because it has all our information on it and get rid of that so MTG on the side there so good thing the uh, UPS guy was not a player and did well hopefully didn't tamper with this haven't been into it yet to look at it so let's see what we got oh packing peanuts my favorite all right so let me dump these out somewhere. All right, so full pack of sleeves with the Selesnia theme. Those are uh, not just freebies, so that's nice to have. Channel Fireball, some more sleeves and stuff. So I'm going to just kind of put this down and I'll start going through this properly as I pull stuff out of the box. Start with this deck box, and as always, I will be scanning up the rares and uncommons and commons that are good, even the mythics. Anything over 90 cents will make my list. I'm trying to hit the goal of 282 bucks here. Here we go. Here we got a nice, looks like a blue deck, maybe. All right, whoops, this might be the one with the Lord of the Unreal, which I always thought was a really good card. Um, but it's really apparently not super powerful. It's all like sleeved up. Oh, nice sleeve. Look at these dragons. That's pretty cool. Got a Phantom Warrior. There is the Lord of the Unreal. Our first rare. Let's see if it'll scan it through the, the sleeve. It will not. So hold on. I got to do that. But being a buck 59, it's a decent card. I mean, it's a literally an illusion lord. So... Like I said, I always thought this this uh, card would see a little more play, but I guess Illusions as a tribe is not um, one that sees a lot of play or anything like that. So there's a counterspell from uh, 
I think that's the one of the Jace versus Chandra deck. Is that what that is? Jace versus Chandra, 379 for a uh, common counterspell. That's pretty decent, right? And a beast. Hey, there we go. Phantasmal Image um, is a card that has gone up kind of high at one point. I'm not sure where it's at right now. It's at five bucks. There we go. So make a little five buck pile there and kind of move some stuff around. If you get any really big hits, we'll put them there, right? So, okay, cool. This is pretty good. It's Sapphire Medallion. Uh, from Tempest. I uh, didn't see that in any of the pictures and it's in amazingly good shape and it didn't see it right so definitely gonna have to do something about this glare um, and get rid of these other false positives here but the Tempest version 3829 for the Sapphire Medallion that is really cool so was not expecting to see that in this collection. Um, there may be quite a bit of truth then to what the guy had said about his collection. And I love that you've got an honest seller here who's just, you know, um, had bought some cards and wanted to play with them. Didn't, you know, he really didn't do, I don't know, maybe not much research on his collection. Uh, maybe he did, I don't know. Maybe there's like, like just enough in here. Um, I'm happy to have that card. I like it, so that's uh, that's a good hit right there. And a contract from below. Wow, that does not go with this deck. Um, but that is a revised edition. I believe it's a reserve list card or a card that cannot be reprinted again. It's not the unlimited. That is a revised. And it still is a $5 card. So there we go. 71 bucks already out of this first little box. Um, very solid. Very happy with this so far. Red deck, huh? So that was a blue deck in a blue box. That makes sense. I do the same thing. We got red cards here. Oh, red and green, right? Glissa Sunseeker. All right. Um, there she is. Buck 48. And, okay, we got, yeah, red mana sleeves here. That's cool. Giant Growth, Rod of Ruin, Archers, Raptor, Fireball. If there's that Mana Vault. All right. Well, there's a nice big hit right there. Um, very light play condition, just a little bit of edge business there. I mean, you guys tell me, is that going to count as near mint? I think it's got just enough to probably not be quite enough, but hey, that is a revised, not a fifth edition. Re revised edition, Mana Vault 71. So we are well on our way. Got a couple of nice big hits here. Definitely liking this collection so far. And I think we haven't seen everything that it has to offer, hopefully. There's a Mana Flare, so a fifth edition Mana Flare. And a lightning bolt behind it. Not unlimited. That would be nice. Fifth edition is still just 10 bucks. So there's a good hit right there too. Put it right there. Uh, this is a lightning bolt from the fire and lightning deck. Premium deck series fire and lightning. Three bucks, 330 right there, so that's a good one. Uh, Rod of Ruin, so we're pinging. Here we got a couple more of these, so I can just add these then to this. One, two, a total of three. Maybe I'll just leave them in the sleeve. Unwilling Recruit, Basalt Monolith, should be okay. Good condition, so like the guy had said, like he had purchased cards to play with, 
and uh, then put them right into sleeves and just played a bit looks like so I don't see any evidence to the contrary of what he said so that's great hey we got a rock hydra believe it or not is a reserve list card and a revised edition is actually one of those co <laughs> no try again rock hydra not unlimited revised 789 for the rock hydra solid very solid i have a box full of worse versions than that well let's see I'll throw on another basalt monolith there we go let's get the seventh edition lanowar owls no nowhere near lucky enough to have a foil version of that i'm sure and then we got another full play set of lightning bolt there we go so great giant growth Giant growth and, and lightning deck here in the gruel deck. It's just kind of a basic Really like a starter level deck right here, you know, so cool nothing wrong with that Got a black deck box and this is not sleeved up, but there is a staff of domination right on top of that so Amazing. Uh, maybe he didn't, he maybe got this card, didn't know what to do with it, or put it into a deck and then took it back out. 584. So it's been reprinted. Um, it was like well over 20 bucks at one time, I believe. And I imagine that could be frustrating. Like you put a bunch of money in that, you know, maybe that was 25 bucks when he bought it. Then come to find out later, you know, years down the road, hey, I want to sell these cards, and they're worth a lot less. This card actually is worth a bit. Dark Steel Plate, these are 15 bucks each. So one, two, three, four of those. 60 bones right off the top there, so that's great. We'll put those there. King of Tokyo, champion of the gods. I've never heard of this game. You can spend hearts as if it were lightnings to buy power cards. That's kind of fun. And yeah, so this is just a pure basic land box. So you kind of put that stuff back in here. And I'll build my own decks with it maybe. Here we got Commander deck box, which looks like it has a 60 card deck or so in it. Pretty nice uh, little die in there. Time Shifted Bad Moon. When I first saw the listing, I saw this card and it was Black Border. I got really excited, but it is not the beta version. It's the Time Shifted version, right? So pretty good though. 378 for that one. We got black sleeves here. And the Stromgall Crusader, I was wrong. I thought this was a rare. It's actually an uncommon. Um, but it's it's pretty it's pretty okay. It's a buck. Death Baron used to be worth almost 20 bucks or maybe even more. And it's been reprinted down to 262 for the 19 version. The shards version is still four bucks. That's okay. In fact, here's another one. We'll just go ahead and throw another Death Baron, and then we'll throw another Death Baron onto the stack. Bad man, there we go. So, I think this is gonna do it. 
Yep, so adding on one more bad moon gets us to break even point, so that is good enough for me. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Are you kidding me? All right, so this is definitely a nice mono black deck right here. Wall of Bone, Greed, and a Lake of the Dead. That is a hit. That was not... Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a heck of a black deck. Now I'm really excited. Okay, hold on a second here. Let's we'll hold off on the Greed real quick. Let's get greedy and let's scan up this Lake of the Dead. Um, so yeah, I, I think... Um, this guy didn't quite know what he had in his collection. He did not go through with a fine tooth comb on all the cards that he must have bought several years ago um, when this card was maybe 10 bucks and it is now 123 bucks for Lake of the Dead. That is a solid hit right there. Love this card. Um, actually I believe it's the number one card in Alliances. Reserve list with probably some room to grow. Mega hit right behind it, a Cabal Coffers. Uh, this one's got a little play, just some little nicks on the top there from picking it in and out. Uh, actually, no, it's it's a little surfaced up there, so definitely late to medium play there, but still 25 bucks. So this card, before it got reprinted recently, was all the way up to like 90 bucks, I think. So, but still, it's a great card and. Could I get lucky enough to get duplicates of those? Let's find out here. Army of the Damned. Nice. Oops, I forgot the greed. Let's scan that up too. Army of the Damned is a couple of bucks. Another Crusader was a... Oh, okay. This is a pretty decent deck right here. Uh... Being Skittles, Skitherix the Blight Dragon. Got a little couple nicks on the top there. The list reprint, the Scars version, 15 bucks. This was like 25 bucks at one point. Another hit. Uh, broke even and then some. I'm really excited about this Lake of the Dead. Bird from Swan Song. I mean, it's a pretty good token, actually. Yeah, I kind of had a suspicion since Swan Song is a card that sees a bit of play. Here's a mythic. So, yeah, the token that's generated by one specific card um, can have a little value to it, right? So, Master of Waves, we got a mythic in here. It's actually three bucks or so. Another deck box, uh, not sleeved up, so maybe this is just some random stuff. There's a rare on the top, 
Spearbreaker Behemoth. Couple bucks, all right. And some Gatecrash stuff. And some Guild Gates. You can never have too many Guild Gates, that's what I always say. I'm building a house with my Guild Gates. I have so many. All right, Mythic Primal Surge. It's such such a high casting cost. This card's never been much of anything, right? I'm wrong about that. It's five bucks. There we go. Sheltering Word. Definitely want to have 12 of those. There you go. And I got a, still a nice deck box and a divider out of it, so that's cool. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little addition. Overgrown Tomb. Great little shock land there. So, 13 bucks. We'll throw it here with all of my $100 cards and stuff. I don't know. Clear box. This is that Legends card. Let's see how deep does this rabbit hole go? Not very deep. It's a red mana battery from Legends. Uh, pretty well loved here. And I think it's just a common. Um, that's an uncommon actually. So in perfect condition would be like five bucks. This is considerably less, but it's a cool card. I will hang on to it. Legends cards seem to kind of appreciate in value. Oh. There's that Mana Vault. Didn't we already find another Mana Vault? Hold on a second. It's been a couple days since I was going through this before. I did like... Sword by price, high to low, right? So... Mana Vault is already on the list. So there's, here's a second Mana Vault. In really good shape, so... I'm very happy. So in the listing, the guy said that the Mana Vault was in the Artifacts box. And here's that one. So the other one was in a deck. The guy had two. He didn't even realize it. So there we go. I will add another one. But bing Mana Vault number two. That can get this fiery sleeve right here. Oops. Put stuff in it, though. Hey, now we're, now we're cooking. Anything else? <laughs> Whisper Silk Cloak, that's good. We got a couple of those. It is the Dark Steel version. And these have gone up from like, when I first started finding these, they were about 50, 60 cents. So for three, three bucks, um, it's a nice little increase there. Shredder Mind's Eye from Mirrodin. Whenever an opponent draws a card, you may pay one if you do draw a card. It's good, but if it costs you five to get it down, let's see, how does that one go? I mean, it must see a little bit of usage in uh, Commander. Illusionist Bracers, good card. And yeah, I'm sure it sees some play. Commander, yeah, that one goes up nine bucks. Um, okay. Very nice. Rod of Ruin, Rod of Ruin. Mage Rite Stone. Let me just scan this one. Wow, $7.99 for an uncommon. There's two of them. Slate of Ancestry. There we go, five bucks. Hey. 
basalt monolith. There's a revised basalt monolith. It'd be like, what, three, five bucks? Bing, we found one of those before as well. I think it was like five bucks maybe. Howling Mine, the classic. I love the art on this one too. M10. It's the 10th edition, slightly different. Tomb. I'm sorry, Tome. Uh, from Mirage. I believe this is a reserve list card. Wow, 1196. There's two of those. Another white commander box, and this has got uh, sleeves, cards and sleeves in it. So well, let's see. What can we get here? We got a counter spell right on top. We got, okay, cool. So we got a an Azorius deck here. Masks, Counterspell, Celestial Colonnade. So when the guy bought this and put this deck together, which it's basically, this is a legacy deck. If you've got a reserve list Retribution of the Meek in there, Celestial Colonnade might have been 20, 30, 40 bucks at that time. So now it's been reprinted, it's only four. Retribution of the Meek though is a reserve list card. It's got some play on it. Um, let's see where it's at right now. 13 bucks. Yeah, it's kind of been there for off and on for several years now, I think. Griffin, Hollow Fountain. Got to have a mana base in your dual colored deck, right? So, 8.99. Another fortress and another hollow fountain. Okay. That actually the twenty thirteen. The Bing Hollow Fountain. Hollow Fountain, there we go. I'm ready to make another deck. Ba Bing. Steam Vents. Very nice shock land to have. 15 bucks. Jace Architect of Thought is a $1 Mythic Planeswalker. There we go. Rock Hydras, we found one of these before too. Again with the reserve list, revised, let's see, we're at 790. Nope, not that one. Revised, 784, okay.
the last box out of this is this red box. Dragon Speaker Shaman Dragon Deck here. And there's a Mythic. Alright, so Dragon Speaker Shaman, let me see. I actually saw it through the sleeve. 242. I might just leave it in the sleeve for now. Bizarre. Flame Blast Dragon. Ancient Hellkite. Yeah, I'm not going to get lucky enough. Actually, I might just leave this as a deck. <laughs> Maybe I'll just play Dragons and add to it. Ancient Hellkite, 43 cents. There's another Seeding Song. Bing. Dwarven Ruins is nothing from Fallen Empires. Crucible of Fire. Bing. Slumbering Dragon. Ah, another Basalt Monolith. Okay. Bing, bing, bing. We're adding up here. Bing Ruins, Dwarven Hold, Slumbering Dragon. Mountain, Mountain, Crucible of Fire. We got plenty of rares in here. Bing. Yeah, I might change those Dwarven Ruins out. Dragon Whelps, Fireball. We got a Cargan Dragon Lord. Mythic with level up. Ooh, Dragon Master Outcast. That's cool. He's a buck. Dwarven Holds, Bizarre, Dragon Whelps. Some more. Just totally dragon themed here. Shaman, Ancient Hellkite, Horde Smelter Dragon, nope, Utvara Hellkite, yeah, that's a good dragon right there, 1465 for Utvara, yep, whenever he attacks you can put another dragon down, so that's great. Wall of Stone. That's great. Dragon Master Outcast. He's a buck. It was more. I think he got reprinted, right? Fireball. Traitor's Blood. Spires Mountain. Yeah, I mean, as a complete deck, I, I think I'll just keep this and kind of soup it up and put newer dragons into it, maybe. Form of the Dragon. 68 cents. Wall of Stone. Stormbreath Dragon from Theros. Let's see how that one goes. Let me get it to see it. Couple bucks there. Another Dragon Lord and another Utvara. Great. Ba Bing. Dragon Master Outcast. Another out, two more outcasts. One, hold on, I saw it wrong. Hold on. World Wake times two. There they are. Dragon Egg, Dragon Egg, Whisper Silk Cloak. Um, another Whisper Silk Cloak. Close enough. Let's just finish this up, and that was it. Unless there's anything in here. Nope, those are empty. So, hey, that was it. And I got myself a nice dragon deck to soup up, probably with some newer stuff. And all told, did pretty good here. Yeah, in the end, I think I did really good on 282. Ended up with a, a, almost 900 bucks worth of stuff here. We got unadvertised more than one mana vault. We got a Lake of the Dead. Got some Shocklands. We got a Skitherix. We got a Cabal Coffers. There's the other mana vault and a Sapphire Medallion. And then plenty of other um, under $10 cards. Uh, some pretty decent ones at that. So had a good time with this one as usual so let me know what you think down below i'll talk to you later tragic mtg out